Hey guys, welcome back to the MLB to show 24 Red Sox franchise mode. Today we are looking for our 121st win and we do have Cutter Crawford on the mound and Alec Manoa on the other side. I won't be checking the playoff standing at the moment because it's very close between Royals, Mariners maybe, and also uh, the Yankees of course. I do not want to face against the Yankees again. Absolutely horrible to play them in the playoffs. Plus, you never know what's going to happen. Cut of Crawford will be picking up with the ball. I think there will be a lot of rotation today. I think, but not Pifetta. I think Dever should get a day off today. I'm just going to do that. Where is he? Actually, who can play third? I want to switch Cassis to third. And I will have CJ Crone batting third. And Garfin might be needing a bit of a day off here. So I'm going to give a rare start uh, to Connor Wong. So he's going to be right there in the starting lineup. But he's going to bat ninth, unfortunately. And I hope that next year Connor Wong is going to get a bump on the contact and power. Because I thought this season he has been really, really good in terms of like producing good contacts. And also power and stuff like that. So he deserves to be up there. And I think... Thing. Other than that, maybe, maybe uh, Romy Gonzalez coming on uh, to replace Nick York just to provide a bit of rotation. So this is the lineup. Gonzalez will be leading off. And then we got Carpenter, CJ Crone. Actually, no, JD. And CJ Crone, Cassis, Yoshida, Abreu, Correa, and Connor Wong. Alec Manoa on the mound. 32nd start for him. 8-13 and 13 with an ERA for 4.26. And the first batter is going to phase. Is Romy Gonzalez who's batting 250. First pitch, line drive to center field. What a way to kick start this game. Gonzalez with a leadoff single to center. And we are, we do have a base runner on board right now after one pitch. One, two count to Carpenter. And that's a line drive to center, but this time it's not going to be caught. It looks like Bo Bichette might have reacted a little bit too slow on that pitch. And a back-to-back -back single to start game, this game off. And that's a line drive to left field. It's going to be a single. And Carpenter going third. Gonzalez going home and he's going to be saved. And JD is going to be saved at second base. Three straight single. Is this a single? Maybe a I think it's a single for JD Martinez. But three straight single to kick this game off. Gonzalez scored, which means we are taking a 1-0 lead. 0-2. And CJ Crone lined this one. To right center field. Two runners are going to score. And we have taken a 3-0 lead. CJ Crone with an RBI single. 3-0 to the Red Sox. Four straight hits to kick this game off. 2-1 count. And Cassis lined this one to right field. Another base of five straight base hit to start this game off. I, I don't think I've ever seen this. Before five straight base hit, still no out, top of the first. 0 1. And a soft. Oh my god, it's gonna be drop for a base hit. It is. What is going on in today's game? Cass is going to be out at third. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I wish, you know, I wish we were carrying this form or carrying to Abreu with only no out, but Cass is it's out at third. Four base running. 2-0. And a ground ball. Oh, what a play by Spinal. And he has prevented seven straight base hits. But that's a good play for the second out. 2-1. And a fly ball to center. Hard hit. Backing up is the center fielder, Kiermaier. He makes the catch. And finally, the season. The season's over. The inning, it's over. That is actually Kinda Falefa leading off. He should be leaving off. Uh, Cut a Crawford on the mound, making his last start in the regular season. 30th game for him, 13 and 7, 2.85 ERA. And he has strikeout 191 batters. Can he make it 200 today? He just need 9. 0 2 count to Falefa. And he looks at that one for strike three. What a way to kick things off here for Cutter Crawford. One out. And a fly ball to center. Abreu goes back. He's going to make the catch. Two outs. 0-1. Oh, Bachette launches this one to left field. And it's going to be a solo shot to the left field. On top of the bullpen, actually. 
And Bo Bichette has hit his 26th home run of the season. And the Blue Jays are back on board. 0-2 count to Guerrero Jr. And a fly ball to center. Abreu barely has to move to end the first. 3-2 count. And Connor Wong's going to take that pitch for a strikeout. One out. And that's another line drive to center field. But this time, Kenneth Falefa makes the catch. Two outs. 3-2. And that is going to be a 3-2 walk given up by Alec Manoa. Two outs right now. We got a base runner at first. JD launches this one to right field. And Spring couldn't quite get there. It's going to be a base hit. Rounding third going home is Carpenter. He is going to be out at home. And what a relay by the Blue Jays defense. 3-2 count to Jansen. And it popped up. CJ Krohn coming in. Speaking catch, one out. 2-2 two -two count to Josh Springer. And a line drive to right field. That is going to be dropped for a base hit. A one out single by George Springer. 2-2 two -two count to Horitz. And a ground ball one hopper. 6-3 to three double play to end the second. 1-1. One, one. That's a soft ground ball to Justin Turner. Fires to first for the first out. 3-2 count. And Cassis checks wing. Did he go? The answer is no. He's going to take first with the walk. 1-0 count. Yoshida hits a ground ball this time. 4-6. And three double play to end the top of the third. 1-2 count to Farsho. And swing and a miss. Change up right at the corner for the first out. Lantigua hits a fly ball to the left. And Yoshida is going to make a good catch in front of the wall. Two outs. 0-1 count to Kaina Falefa. And it popped up to Gonzalez. And he's going to make the catch for a 1-2-3 inning. 0-1. And that's a fly ball to right field. And it's going to be off the wall. Oh, my Lord. I've been waiting for William Bray to get his first home run of the season. And I thought that was it for a second. It was a hard hit. But it literally landed on top of the wall. Very close. 3-2 count to Correa. And he's going to look at that one for ball four. He's going to take first. Right now with no out man on first and third. First and second, actually. Here comes Connor Wong. 1-2 count. And that is going to be a wild pitch. It's going to go all the way to the backstop. And this could be huge. We're able, we might be able to score a run here. If it's a ground ball, come on, Connor Wong. Make contact. Make contact. 3-2 count to Connor Wong. He's going to take that pitch. Two walks allowed in this inning and also a leadoff double. That is it for Alec Manoa. They're turning to the bullpen. And Andrew Bash coming on. 18th game for him. 2-3 and three with an ERA of a 5.26. 2-1. And that's a ground ball down the line for a base hit. Two runs are going to score. Gonzalez with an RBI double. Two run RBI double to further extend the lead here to 6-1. A hanging breaking ball right down the middle. First double for him of the season. And right now we might be able to tear them apart if we are able to score more runs in. 1-2 count to Kerry Carpenter. Swing and a miss on the two-seamer. Right at the corner for the first out. 3-2 count. And JD went down swinging. With the slider on the outside, two outs. 3-1 count. And Crone's going to take a walk. Again, going back to bases loaded. But this time with two outs, here's Trishan Cassis. 1-1. One, one. Cassis! Oh my god, he launches this one to right field for a grand slam. Oh my god, guys. I probably want to tell you guys this. I was literally thinking the moment when he stepped onto the plate, I was like, oh, what if he hits a home run? It's like, oh, kind of cheering for the last, but for him, maybe the last home run of the regular season. I was thinking about that. And guess what? We actually hit a home run. It was just a quick thought, really, really quick thought. I was like, what if he hit a home run? And he did. Well, I thought, you know, there, there are times where I'm just going to think, 
you know, he can just probably send a runner home with like a single or a double, something like that. But no, he clear the bases. And Yoshida lined this one to left field. It's going to be drop. Holy cow. Toronto Blue Jays. There's a reason why they're not doing well at all this season. Considering that they're sitting all the way at the bottom of the AL East. 2-2 two, two count. And Abreu lined this one to right field. And we continue to obliviate the whole Toronto Blue Jays. But this time, unfortunately, I don't think he can score that runner in. Two outs right now with the man of second and third. And Bash is still pitching here. And a ground ball to the hole. Bachette. Oh, off the line. It's going to be an error, isn't it? Wow, you need a Boba Shed to make that play the first. I mean, there's no way. That is it for Bash. And Mitch White coming on. 44th game for him. 6-4 and four with an ERA of a 3.45. 3-2 count. And Connor Wong's going to take a second walk in this inning. Can you imagine right now? We already sc scored six runs. And somehow, the Blue Jays couldn't get, you know, trying to... They can't even get out of this inning. And a ground ball... Espinal, I'll just let them have it. Bases loaded again, but, well, that is it. 0-2 count to Espinal, and a fly ball to Gonzalez. He's right under it to make the catch. One out. 0-2. Bachet, another popped up to Gonzalez this time. Two outs. 1-2 count to Guerrero Jr., and he chases that one for strike three for a one, two, three inning. And there you go. Solo shot to right field. Carpenter put himself on board again with solo shot. He needed a bit of fun. 23rd home run for him of the season. 106.2 miles per hour. Ix of velocity. He absolutely destroyed that baseball. 12 to 1. This is a humiliation to the mankind, especially for the Toronto Blue Jays. They just couldn't handle it anymore. Wow, I mean, we're using the majority of our second string player today. Devers wasn't even on the line of 412 feet far. Holy cow. 0-1. And JD, ground ball up the middle for, for base. Can we get 20 hits today? I'm sure we can if we keep on hitting at this rate. 3-2 count. CJ Crowan chases that slider for the first out. And a line drive to left field. And it's going to be caught by Dalton Farshall for the second out. And a line drive to right center field. Hard hit. It's going to go all the way to the wall. And JD Martinez rounding third. He's going to go home. Yoshida going to third. And he is going to be out at third. Attempted for a triple. But he add. Another RBI in 13 to 1. And line drive on the first pitch. And Yoshida couldn't quite get there. He almost had it for a leadoff single for J Danny Jansen. 1 2 count to Springer. And a ground ball to Correa to his former teammate. A 6 4 3 double play to get the first two outs here. And a fly ball to left. Yoshida coming in. And he's going to make the catch to end the fifth. And first pitch swing is going to be a popped up to Bachet. He's going to make the catch. One out. And a popped up again. But this time to the first baseman Horwitz. He's going to make the catch again. Two outs. And Connor Wong with a ground ball to Bachet. And finally, a 1-2-3 inning for the Blue Jays. 0-2 count to Farshall. And swing and miss on a fastball up high for the first out. 1-2 count to Lentigua. And he looks it down for strike three. 40 second out. 0-1 count to kind of Falefa. And it popped up to CJ Crone. He's going to make the catch for a 1-2-3 inning. And that is it. But cut a Crawford for the regular season. Gonzalez on the first pitch. What a play. But a shortstop. Good throw for the first out. And then the line drive. One hopper to Bachet. Oh, to, wow. To first. 
off the throw, off the line again. Second error given up by Bobashe in this game. You don't see that very often. And fly ball to the left, left field. Dalton Farshaw is right under it to make the catch. Two outs. And ground ball on the first pitch. And we're trying to, you know, speed the gameplay up a little bit because it's already 45 minutes in and we're only in the seventh inning. I see a camel coming on 51st game for him. 3 and 1, 17 holds with an ERA for 1.72. 2 1 count. And a fly ball to right. Routine play coming in as Carpenter. He makes the catch. 2 1. 2 1. 1 out. 1 2 count. Bachet, fly ball to left. Yoshida makes the play, two outs. And a fly ball again to left field. It's going to stay in play. Yoshida coming in, makes the catch, a 1 2 3 inning to end the seventh. 3 1 count. And a line drive to right. It's going to be another base hit. Oh my lord. It was very close for another home run again. 106 miles per hour. Trishan Cassis with the leadoff single. And another line drive to center. That is going to be... Oh! Kinefalefa couldn't quite get there. And Yoshida going to third. Oh my god. Cassis, you better go home. And he is going to be safe. That's an RBI triple by Yoshida. He wanted to get one in the... The last time he hit, and this time he got it. He's only, I believe he might be home run shy away from a cycle, but I don't think it's going to happen. But Trevor Rich is coming on to replace Mitch White. 62nd game for him, 2-3 and three, with an ER of a 3.74. And a soft line drive to center field, and that is going to be dropped for a base hit. What is going on? 15-2-1 to the Red Sox. Abreu with the RBI single. 3-0 count. To Correa. And he's going to look at that one for ball four. A four pitch walk issue by Richards. No out with the man on first and second. Here is Connor Wong. 3 1 count. And that is going to be another walk issue. How many players get on base today? I have no clue how. But Rami Gonzalez is six of bat. Can he send a runner home? Bases loaded with no outs. 3 2 count to Gonzalez. And he's going to look at that one for strike three. One out. 1-0. And a line drive to left field. It's going to be caught. And the Braves going to go home safely. A sack fly registered by Kerry Carpenter. 16-1. 3-1 count. And JD's going to take a walk. Another walk issue by Trevor Richards. Third one for him in this inning. Going back to the bases loader right now with two outs. 2-2. Two, two. CJ Crone went down swinging on a circle change to end the top of the 16th. <laughs> top of the 16th. Top of the 8th. 3-2 count to Jansen. And swing and miss finally. After a 10th pitch at bat, we retired him with a strikeout. One out. Spring on the first pitch swinging. High fly ball to left field in front of the wall. And Yoshida run back. Makes the catch. Two outs. One, two count to Horowitz. And a fly ball to right. That is going to be another one, two, three inning by Isaiah Campbell. Two, one count. And that's a ground ball. Oh, knocks it down by Lentigua. And that will be the fourth base hit for Cassis today. Nobody can stop him. And first pitch swing, a popped up, mask off by Jansen. He makes the catch, one out. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, popped up again. A hanging circle change right down the middle. A Brady should have taken that opportunity for a home run, but no. 0-2. Oh, oh, swing and a miss. Correa got no hits today, I realize. Chase Anderson coming off of the last three outs here. 32nd game for him. 3-1 with an ERA of a 1.41. 0-2. And he looks at that one for strike three. One out. And a ground ball on the first pitch. Correa. That's a good throw. Two outs. 0-2 count. To kind of Falefa. 
And swing and a miss, drop third strike. He's gonna go to first base, but Connor Wong's gonna throw him out. This is possibly the biggest win we have in this season. 16 and 1, and we got what 19 hits in total. Christian, Christian Cassis with a solo shot. Actually, not solo shot. It's a it's a home run. There's a few players getting getting a home run as well. Um, I forgot who they are. Care Carpenter, maybe one. But we got four more games to go. What a win! I mean, what an absolute win. We absolutely destroyed Blue Jays, and it also shows why they sh they are not in the playoff. It's that easy. That fourth, fifth, sixth inning, we completely obliterated them. I mean, the fourth inning, seven runs in. Holy cow! Play of the game. Definitely Trish and Cassis cut a Crawford, make his last start, and he got a win right there. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in a bit.